Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about a question that came in from y'all. Um, opinions and a story. And it's a story that I've told on the channel before, but I want to say it was like five years ago. And it's definitely worth repeating. It's a story I heard as a kid that, well, I mean, it stuck with me. So the question that has come in quite a few times over the last week is that, hey, you, you've talked about nuclear power, but you, you haven't expressed, you know, your opinion on it. So this story, it's about this guy, and he, uh, he loves space, everything about space. It's his hobby. It's his thing. He, he reads about it, watches documentaries about it. One day he's on a plane. And he's sitting there in his seat, and the stewardess, well, she's talking to this guy up at the front of the plane, and eventually walks him back, sits him right by this guy. The guy looks over, and the guy that's sitting next to him is an astronaut. And I can't remember which one, um, but it, it was one of the names you'd recognize. You know, somebody who's, like, walked on the moon or something like that. So... This guy, he, he's sitting next to his hero, so he's trying to spark up a conversation. And because he's sitting next to his hero, he's also making a fool of himself throughout the whole thing. And at one point, he uh, looks out the window, and he kind of nudges the astronaut, and he's like, Man, look, at, look at how small everything looks down there on the ground. And the astronaut looks out the window and tells him roughly how many thousands of feet they are in the air because the structures are still visible on the earth. And the guy is like, I'm calling it the ground. He's calling it the earth. That's why he's an astronaut. The guy keeps trying to spark up a conversation. Eventually, the astronaut pulls out a book probably trying to get away from the guy. The book's on Portuguese art. The guy, not taking the hint, continued to try to have a conversation with him. And he's like, you're an astronaut. Why are you reading a book on Portuguese art? And the guy says, because I don't know anything about it. That is why he's an astronaut. Why have I not expressed a firm opinion on nuclear power? Because I don't know enough about it to have one. Um, you know, I, I know the criticisms. I know the concerns. I've also read about the new reactors, thanks to the comment section, which that's cool. But I, I do not believe I'm well-versed enough on the subject to provide a a firm opinion and say, I'm definitely right about this. So I haven't. We might want to normalize that because over the last week, thousands of people have watched a video saying that uh, what happened to that bridge, well, that wasn't because of the boat. It was because of something else and things going boom. That is not what happened. This person has a very firm opinion about that. These people have a very firm opinion about that, and they're wrong. Um, it, it's probably something that we should strive to make a good thing. If you don't know a whole lot about something, maybe your opinion should be uh, subject to change subject to new information. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.